The Gangs Family. What's going on, Gangs Gang? Hello, hello. Gang, gang. We are back with another video. Back out of the game. <laughs> she extra. So, today's topic is going to be how to keep it spicy, amongst other things. And I want to be completely honest, truthful, and straightforward. Nothing is going to be pre-spoke about. So whatever we're speaking about now is exactly what is being spoken about right now it hasn't been spoken about it's, before it's live and ain't, ain't no it is the same it's not really live but <laughs> it, it's live we not live with y'all but it's live you know what i'm saying we not gonna edit nothing out how we feel is how we feel and as we're saying it y'all are gonna get it so it's not like oh, okay this is how they felt previously and then this is how they feel now no couples they tend to go through things and they kind of get caught up in work and school and kids and they tend to like shy away from their partners because they feel like, oh, okay, well, if I don't maintain my, my everyday life, my partner would just understand. Like he knows or she knows what I have going on. So people kind of get lost in transition. Yeah. But what people fail to realize is that at the end of the day, when you marry somebody, when you decide, even if you're not married, if you're dating someone and you have kids or whatever, like, you chose this person. You chose this path. So you have to keep romance alive because if they not getting it at home, they're going to look for it elsewhere. That's true. And then things tend to get lost in transition because on one side, like, from a man's perspective, on one side, it's like, okay, I'm fighting to make sure I can provide and keep everything going at the house to where she doesn't have to worry for anything because as man, you want to give your woman the world. Even if that's not attainable at that present instance, in your mind, you're like, okay, well, I got to do X, Y, Z to make sure I can give her what I can give her so she doesn't have any issues. But in her mind, from what I assume, it could be like, oh, okay, well, that's not necessarily what I want from him. I just want him to be there with me, be mindful of how I feel. Exactly. But we kind of we kind of lose that focus. Like for women, it's different. Like we're we're looked at as we got to be the housewife, we got to cook, we got to clean, we got to do all this stuff. Granted, most of us we don't mind doing that as long as we get something back in return, which is the romance, the love, the care, the passion, the effort. Can we get some roses every now and then? Or can we get a cooked meal every now and then? Can we just have something that you guys can be like, I appreciate you. Because for me, I cook almost every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I take care of the kids. When Adam gets home from work, he doesn't have to do anything. The house is clean, all of that. And in return, all I want to hear is a thank you and a little token, which will be dinner or let's say some box of chocolates if you like chocolates or whatever the case is just the little things and I think guys miss that and then that's what starts to fizzle out for the women it's like well sh I don't want to do this no more like what's the point so then we start being a little lazy we start giving the attitude y'all is like oh I want to get some and you like psh, you ain't getting none tonight and we'd be like <laughs> oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I got cramps. Oh, I just started my cycle or, you know, whatever the case is. And we'd be lying because it's like we're not attracted to you in that way right now because you're making me feel like a maid, like your mom. You're not making me feel like a woman, your lady, the love of your life. So, you know. Well, in the same aspect, like as the relationship goes on and you have like years invested like for me and Tay, we've been together for almost eight years and we've been married for four. So it's a lot of time and people, as you get comfortable with people, you start doing things that you didn't really used to do. So say when y'all first started dating, we used to call her every day and be like, oh, you know, hey, babe, I miss you. Do you need anything? Now, when you get off of work, you might not call 
Or if you do call. What's for dinner? Right. You call and see what's for you dinner. You didn't make nothing for me? Because you're tired. So. Where my beer at? <laughs> and this is where a lot of couples lose that that love factor because it's like they're working their own agendas, but they're not working together. And you have to maintain as a team. And communication is a But like I said, you have to be vocal about what you want. And when you're engaged with your partner, you have to be mindful of what they like and what they don't like. But the only way to find that out is to ask questions because we, as men, we don't know stuff. In our minds, we're like, okay, well, this I know this is my go-to move. You know what I'm saying? But your go-to move, after the 500th time, it might be not a go-to move no more. She might want something else. So it's time to come with a new go-to move. But the only way to figure that out is to try different stuff. Granted, we get stuck in our ways. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? You might have a long day and your partner might want something, but you don't want to do nothing. So then you get the little dead body and kind of You be like, like, okay. You got your body on, you know, you got your little, your little raggedy <laughs> nightgown on. I got one of them. It's just like, you're just kind of like, I'm tired. And I get, and I tell Adam all the time, I'm tired. I work full time. I also deal with the kids during the day most of the time. Even though we have a really good family friend that helps us out, it's still, I'm still mommy at the end of the day. And after I get off, I'm still mommy. I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, and then Adam gets home waiting for dinner and everything else. And sometimes I will catch attitude because I'm like, if you would have known the day that I had, you would know that I'm tired. And then you want to catch an attitude when I say, I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry. Like, and I think guys oh, need to understand that. Insert right here, fellas. This is when you, you know what I'm saying, to help, give a little foot rub, ask about their day. Foot rub back rub, you know what I'm saying, something, just so they can kind of vent to you versus, okay, well, how was your day and you over here like, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. because they want you to be engaged in what they're trying to tell you because they have stressful days just as we do. Okay, back to you. I'm not saying that it has to be done every day, but there is a point in time where guys need to take responsibility as well. Like, let's say if I'm doing all this stuff and you've been working all day, granted, Adam works hard. He will work, he will be at work from 5 a.m. until 3.30, then get off and have an appointment at 4 to work on somebody's car and then another one and he has to drive all the way on the side of town. So I understand that. And sometimes I feel bad because I'm like, oh, I want to make sure that everything is perfect when he gets home so he could just relax. But who's doing that for me? So it's one of those things where... It's a compromise. There's times where there's gonna days are gonna be rougher than others, and those are the days that I want him to step in and be like, we can order some food, or I'll make something. Don't worry about it. Those little tiny things will be like, dang, who you gonna get something tonight? Like, okay, I, I didn't have to do anything crazy. I didn't have to work my butt off, get the kids in bed, and do this that you did it for me. Thank you. And a lot of guys forget. When it comes to kids, it's not easy. Like, I'm not saying there's not guys out there that take care of their kids full time. Because there, there is. But most of the time, the woman is doing majority of the work. When the baby's sick. When, you know, we got to pick up the kids from daycare. When we have to fix bottles or fix meals or go to the grocery store or change diapers. And in the midst of all that trying to figure out when we can go wash our own butts without having somebody tag along with us. It's it's hard and it's frustrating. And I think you lose the romance because you're so wrapped up in all that stuff and the guy or the men get this picture in their head that everything needs to be like Betty Crocker. Like, you know what I mean? Like, everything's going to be perfect. I'm going to come home. She's going to have this. And then she wants me to have a nice you know a nice dinner and she's gonna rub my feet and then she's gonna have this lingerie on and everything's gonna that's not realistic at all I'm gonna get some sloppy toppy or something oh my gosh <laughs> excuse him it's <laughs> it's a lot and i just want you guys to remember <coughs> we are only human we're tired we're exhausted but guess what we will make the effort if you guys put the effort in back so trying to keep the romance is going to be very difficult but, but it's a two-way street but mm -hmm. 
it can work as long as you guys have the communication. Like certain ideas, it would be Adam calls me from work and says, hey, just wanted to see how your day was going. I miss you. I love you. And I hope that your day gets better from having a rough day or maybe even come home and you have some flowers and you're just Little like, gestures. oh my Little God. Kiss, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, you, you're my queen. You're stunning. You're beautiful. Like me personally, every day I'll text my wife, except weekends because I'm with her on weekends mm -hmm. and I don't work usually. But when I wake up, well, she when she wakes up, I text her good morning, beautiful, because me personally, I feel like, like, look, look at this face. She's gorgeous. She's stunning. So I tell her good morning, beautiful, every day because she is beautiful. Granted, she may not feel beautiful, but to me, you know what I'm saying, nappy hair, crazy hair, body, and whatever, I feel like she's a beautiful woman. That's just me. I don't know how y'all feel about y'all girls. You know, sometimes you, you don't necessarily understand people. But in my eyes, this is the most beautiful woman to me. So I have to make sure I'm vocal about that and she knows it versus being like, oh, what's up, babe? How you doing? Yeah. All right, cool. I'll see you when I get home. That's not enough. They need more. It, it, conversation. Sometimes we have can to be feel able to communicate. crappy. We can be like, my hair isn't looking right. I feel fat today. Oh my God, my makeup ain't on point. I got a pimple and he's going to think it's horrible. I mean, there's lots of things. And to hear someone say, babe, I love you. You're beautiful. And you could just, your breath could be stank. You could just be getting up in the morning, your hair all everywhere. You got your bonnet on. You got some spit on the side of your mouth. And you just be like, oh, dang. Oh, thanks, honey. I love you so much. That was so amazing of you to say that. And the same for me. I'm going to hype him up when he get a haircut or Boy, when he's sweat. in his gym attire or something. And I'm going to be like, you know what? Let me make sure I let him know. You looking real good. Them arms, that back. Yes. That back, so, I have to do the same thing for him. So it's a two-way street. It's not just a one-way street. And people will fall out of love easily because they're not communicating their love for each other. Hype your partner up so nobody can. Yes. So, final topic is going to be how to keep the romance alive. Yes. So, for me, to keep the romance alive, you have to do the things that you started doing in the beginning to keep her, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's like, okay, well, I might buy some flowers here, my rub some feet here, my rub back here, but we all know what massages lead to. So, you know what I'm saying? You might have to do that, keep a little spark, but you have to find time to like go on dates. Yeah. Date night is extremely important because without having a date night, you kind of lose sight of each other. You do. Like, for instance, things that didn't really piss you off might piss you off now, but if you have a date night, you know what I'm saying? In between that time. You can time, let it go, you know? Right, you can wine and dine and she might forget it, you know what I'm saying? And you, at the end of the night, you still ain't got no kids, hopefully. Yeah. I don't know how y'all paying y'all date nights. But if you know you got to come home to some kids, you might have to do some stuff in the garage, in the car. You know what I'm saying? Some spontaneousness because that's where that romance comes into play. Because when you do the same stuff all the time, it gets boring. So you yes. have to be inventive and find new ways and new avenues to address your needs and men we have to be mindful of our old tricks that we used to do might not work for her no more you know what i'm saying you got to invent some new tricks get in your bag a little bit you know what i'm saying maybe watch a couple videos get a couple ideas and you know what i'm saying act them out do some road plan or something something new <clears throat> something fresh because women we love that fresh that new feeling and once you lose that it's kind of like, uh, you start to just be like, uh, what we mean by keeping it fresh and day night. We mean like do new things, like maybe go to an amusement park. Granted, we're in Arizona, so. Not a lot of amusement parks here. But maybe do some, you know, some cool stuff like maybe laser tag, maybe top golf, maybe, you know, go shooting at the, you know, shooting thing. Shooting range. Yeah, shooting range. <laughs> do something 
spontaneous and fun and try new restaurants you know by trying new restaurants is different it's not like okay we go to applebee's or <laughs> oh we go to chili's it's like let's hey, do shout, something shout out to applebee's though eating good in the neighborhood their drinks are pretty cheap though <laughs> you know but it's just do something new or like do a game night with the friends and like make it a couples thing that's still date night because you're still enjoying each other's company without the children and you can just have fun right and it's not all about the most expensive or the furthest you can drive or anything like that it's more of spending time with each other to rekindle what you guys had at the beginning that's mm -hmm. important rekindle that fire and as I was saying about being open-minded, well, that has to kind of go on both sides. Men, we kind of try to like shy away from certain things because of how we feel about it. But if it's not, you know what I'm saying, we, we all have our line. Like, okay, you can't cross this line. But some stuff you can kind of like, okay, well, this is not really over the line, but it's out of my comfort zone. So you kind of have to discuss that with your partner. And you can try different things, you know what I'm saying? Granted, for us, you know, my wife got some, a couple toys or something. Say she just had a passion party. So, it might be some toys or some lubes or some, you know what I'm saying, some foreplay stuff involved. But that all comes down to how y'all communicate as a couple and what each other likes. Because if you do the same thing, you get the same results. So, when you try new stuff, she might be like, oh, whoo, whoo, boy. Put it on her that one time. Now, you know what I'm saying? You got some new, a new bag of tricks to put on her. And you still got your look, your, your old go-to routine. So now you got two. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, okay, well, he switched it up tonight. Or, oh, you was, you felt some type of way. You had some anger built up or something. You know what I'm saying? But you got to keep it fresh. Otherwise. And the same for women. Like, every now and then, put on the sexy panties. Put on the sexy bra. Buy some lingerie. Do your Give hair. some sloppy toppy. Give it. Don't say that. Gosh, I'm sorry. I'll bleep that out. Um, You're not editing that. That's staying. It's not staying. Yes, it is. No, it's not. If I have to say it 50 times, <laughs> assault. Okay, anyways. So, <laughs> but like, be sexy. You know, do a little smell good. Put on, you know, the Victoria's Secrets. You know, that is just something different for him as well because... He will love it, and he will notice. You'll be like, oh, you got the good panties on tonight. Okay. Oh, you your, bra, your bra and your panties, man? Oh, yes. trying to get into some stuff tonight, huh? Send a couple pictures, you know, while he's at work in some, something cute. And that way, just to be like, thinking of you, love you, can't wait to see you tonight. You know, certain little things like that always, always are exciting. That's the stuff that maybe you did before. That's awesome. And maybe you don't do it now, and maybe he will be expecting it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, because when we get unexpected things, then we go from, oh, I'm having this bad day, to, oh, I can't wait till I get home. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into some things. So, ultimately, it's about how you and your partner communicate, and you have to know each other's love language. So, once you establish each other's love language, it's about maintaining it, because... With the everyday life shuffles, you know what I'm saying? Most people have kids or stressful jobs or you got to travel off far. Like, it's a lot going on in everyday life. But don't make excuses. You have to get your own results. Put in the effort. Put in the work. Because without that, the relationship's going to fall apart. And then y'all going to... Like, for instance, there's relationships that 18, 19-year marriages. After the kids is gone, y'all don't know each other anymore. So, to avoid that... Keep the passion alive. Try new things. And it'll be fun. It will. You have to make it fun. Don't make it a job. It's yeah, not a job. It's not. It's something you're both experiencing, and it should be fun on both parts. So, yeah. as long as you do that, your marriage, relationship, whatever you have going on, will thrive for a long time. So, But communicate that. Communication is my foundation. Oh, that's bars. I got bars. Anyways. Um... But that's going to be all for this week. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Go check out the last two videos. and Or the last three if y'all ain't watched the first one too. So I'm saying we got a couple videos from this week. Yeah. That's our first one from last week. So make sure y'all check out all the videos. 
and to all comment your friends. below. Comment. Comment below. Let us know what you guys want to see next. We always like suggestions. We always have people comment on social media on what they want to see. But comment below. Let us know. And we love you, gang, gang. And we out. Gang, gang.